All right, we are live. Uh, happy Record Store Day. Happy Quarren Stream. Uh, I figured we would do a little Q&A. I haven't done a, a traditional live stream in a long time. Um, it might be since I moved and did the big unboxing. So I felt like it was important for me to say hi. And on Record Store Day, which has been postponed, unfortunately, um, why can't we still talk records and music and uh, give us some appreciation um, for the medium we love so much? So let's just chat and see where this goes. I'm listening to some Richard Houghton right now in the background. Nice background music. And uh, let's let's see what you, you guys have to say. Um, Grant's here. What's up? What's up, Nick? Of course, Nick's here, my man. Uh, Cole... Uh, how do I feel about the ODB box set? Um, I like ODB. I'm, I'm not sure I'm familiar with the box set. Is it a seven inch box set? What, what are we working with here? Um, I'm not quite sure. Give me, give me some more context. Uh, hey Daniel. What's up, Adam? Peanut butter? Pancakes? Uh, tell me uh, if the music's a little too soft. Let me know, guys. I want you guys to be able to hear it, but also be able to hear the, the words. Um, so you didn't realize um, they delayed the releases. Um, yeah. I, I mean, I think all the releases are going to be delayed, maybe deferred to whatever the labels want to do, whether they want to push it to the t tentative record store day. Uh, down the road or if they want to do online releases with them. I'm not sure. I think it's probably going to be up to their discretion at this point. If this is the Wild West, like truly we don't know exactly what's going to happen. Um, I don't know. Uh, Kendrick Lamar, best to worst. <sighs> that is so tough. If I have to do it like gun to my head, I would probably say I'm, I'm missing a lot of a lot of comments. Hold on. Let me let me go up. Uh, gun to my head. Kendrick Lamar, best to worst. Uh, I'm gonna only I'm gonna start at section 80. So let's do Good Kid, Mad City. Damn. No, you know what? You know what? Good Kid, Mad City to Pimp and Butterfly. Damn. Section 80. That's like my gut reaction, but I feel like I could flip those last those middle two around at pretty much at any given time. Um, Brendan, aka Wet Movie One. What's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Yeah, it was awesome running into you at the Ozzy Osbourne line. It was not awesome waiting like four hours in line, uh, very far back compared to you. But it was uh, it was good seeing you briefly, and we got to meet Ozzy Osbourne, which is like absolute legendary. And he looked me in the eyes, and he he was very uh, old, but uh, he's he's a legend. Um. Thoughts on the new Strokes album? You know, everyone's telling me to listen to the new Strokes album. And truthfully, I like the Strokes, but I don't know. I, I didn't love the new singles. So I'm not really, uh, I'm not really, like, pushing it to the top of my list. Um, a 7-inch ODB box set. I feel like 7-inch box sets in general are pretty, pretty whack. Um, even if I love the album... Uh, it's just it's just a collector's item. I'm never gonna play an album through seven inches. It's just that to me is just like that's like an act like vinyl is like inconvenient enough if there's like two discs, you're just like you can't even like, you know, just sit and enjoy a full record. You have to get up and turn it, which obviously is part of the appeal. It's it's very active. It's but I think seven inches for an album is a little too active for me. Um I did hear about the clipping live album for Record Store Day, and it was on my tentative list actually, but uh I guess I'll have to maybe hear it and see. Oh, we got a super chat. I was scrolled up too high. Gatefold lovers, thank you so much for the super chat. Um, I really appreciate that. I hope you're doing okay in the city. Best wishes, mate. Best wishes to you too, man. Yeah, uh, we're, we're pretty much hunkered down here. Um, spending a, a hell of a lot of time with my records, which is nice. Uh, I went from listening to one to two a day to like five, six a day, which is really cool. Um, really getting through my backlog, which is just this under the line photo. It's just all the backlog. It's like immediate. Um, it's good. It's it's been all right. You know, I'm I'm a bit of a homebody. I like going out, but I also I also don't mind staying in. What do I think will happen if they flat out cancel Record Store Day? I don't think they're gonna cancel it. I feel like it's gonna go on at some point. Um, but whether stores do curbside pickup or stores do online orders, I don't know how it's going to be handled. But these releases aren't just going to disappear. They have to. They have to move them somehow. 
Greetings from Italy. Oh, Henry, come on, man. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to skip over your name. You were dropping all the Yeezus emojis, and I, I, you know, I appreciate that. I love some Yeezus. What's up, Moan Rock? Hi from Lockdown, Northern Ireland. Yeah, we're all, we're all just in this together, folks. Is this going to be on my channel to watch over? Yes, I am going to leave this video up after the, after the stream is done. Um, despite the fact that it might hurt my metrics in the long haul. I don't know. Some people might want to see a little Q&A. Um, what animal collective records do I own? That's a good question. I own... Let me see if I can get them all. I own Sung Tongs. I own uh, Strawberry Jam. I own Merryweather. I own Fall Be Kind. And I own the Merryweather Live album that just came out. I had more. Oh, I own Feels. Feels. Um, I had more, but I think I sold them at TMR Fest. Hit the like button, everybody. That's true. Yeah, if you're in this live stream and you want to hit the like button, uh, it helps the stream get some clout on YouTube's uh, systems. I don't know. It just takes a second. It costs zero dollars. Also, if you super chat me, uh, no matter what I'm doing, I will stop what I am doing and I will answer your question. That's that's kind of my rules. Uh, what's going on, Miles? Yeah, glad you made it, man. Thoughts on the new Fiona Apple? Um, I listened to it last night. It was excellent. It's a really heavy album. I kind of view it almost like To Pimp a Butterfly, where musically, production-wise, it's just stunning and beautiful, but lyrically and thematically, it's a little heavy for regular rotation. I mean, she is really laying it all on the line with this album. It is very, very heavy. Um, so I, uh, I liked it a lot. I don't know the next time I'm going to revisit it. What's my take on colored vinyl versus black? I'm actually doing a video about that sometime in the next couple weeks, so you'll have to stick around and find out. Am I picking up 31520 on vinyl if it ever drops? Yeah, just to complete the Gambino collection, but I gotta be honest, no one's really talking about it anymore, and that's because it's so uh it's it lacks some like cohesion. It's just a bunch of random songs. It's not a uh, Gambino project like we've come to know. And I love a lot of the songs on there, but ultimately it, it is one of his weaker releases as a full release. And uh, I was hoping for a little more for what is prospectively the final Gambino album. Hey, Michael. Michael Santos. What's up, man? Glad you made it. Um, man, there's a bunch of comments. You guys are you guys are killing it right now. Where are these comments on my on my videos that I put out every week? Will TMR2 be affected? Yes, uh, I actually just put a video out um, on Wednesday where I talked about TMR2 Fest is going to be, um, TMR Fest 2 is going to be postponed next year, um, which I'm not happy about, but it's for the best. It's to, it's you know, it's too risky to, to plan it for the end of this year like it was planned, and I just want to make sure it's the best it can be. So, yeah. Do I prefer the White Album or Sgt. Pepper? Um, some of my favorite Beatles songs are on the White Album, but Sgt. Pepper is a better album in full, I think. Um, I actually have pretty strong opinions on the White Album, and I plan to do, as per everyone's request, uh, some more videos in the coming weeks about um, classic music, you know, Beatles, so Bob Dylan, Floyd, stuff like that. And I am going to talk about the White Album in a way that most people don't, I feel like. Most people give it a lot of praise, and it is a pretty sloppy record, so I'm going to talk about it. Um, in an upcoming video. Thoughts on the new Weekend album? It has some catchy tracks, but it's a little poppy for me, and it's a little, uh, it all kind of sounds the same outside of a few. If there was a Speeding Bullet to Heaven vinyl, would I buy it? Actually, I would. Uh, I'm one of those weird people that likes Kid Cudi's Speeding Bullet to Heaven. Outside of the Beavis and Butthead sketches, which are, like, very weird to throw... Um, in the middle of an album. I like the kind of lo-fi, grungy thing that he's doing on that album. Uh, it's a little too long, but I'd say 75% of the songs I really enjoy. Pros and cons. Oh my god, my nose is itchy. It's because there's, there's hair everywhere. I just need a haircut. Ah. Um, pros and cons of joining a monthly record club. <sighs> I mean, the cons are that you lose money. Um, and the cons are sometimes that you don't know what you're going to get. But the pros are that you get you learn about new music. And sometimes you get access to exclusive records that you can only get by being a member. Uh, like Ronald Me Please does. So, I don't know. Depends on your on your budget. 
Have I pre-ordered the Nationals High Violet Expanded? Yes, I've pre-ordered two versions. The Cherry Tree version and then the the Purple White Swirl. Um, I love High Violet. And you know what, guys? I was going to see High Violet performed live in full at Homecoming Festival. Uh, and it got canceled. Not just rescheduled, canceled. So I'm pretty beat up about that. Skits says, hey man, I love watching your videos. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Have I listened to Mandolin Orange? I've seen them while flipping through bins, but I've never actually listened to them. In your opinion, Revolver is the best Beatles record. It's number two for me. It's right up there. Right up there. New Asher Roth thoughts. Uh, <laughs> shockingly, as a big hip-hop guy, I like Asher Roth. I think that Sleep in the Bread Isle has a couple really classic tracks outside of I Love College, which is obviously just a radio hit. Um, I haven't listened to New Asher Roth. Is it good? Hey, Matt. I just want to thank you for inspiring me to start a record collection a few years ago. That's awesome, Grant. You're welcome. That's the whole point of my channel, so I'm glad that it's, uh, it's working out. Uh, how many records are you up to? Was Daft Punk involved in the latest Weekend album? Um, I don't think so. Not that I heard. I feel like that would be a big selling point if they were. Have I made any videos on my favorite 80s records? Yes, there's one video on the channel that's my top records from the 80s. It's not necessarily like a definitive top five, but it's five ones I really love. Um, go back and check it out. If someone wants to find that and post it in the chat, that would be cool. Um, but no pressure, uh, if not, for Angel's Vinyl World. When can we expect TMR6 to drop on crates? Dude, it is like... Okay, so let me tell you about TMR6. So TMR6 is... Um, it, it, it's, it involves two artists uh, that I really love. One of them I talk about on the channel quite a bit, actually. Um, and one of the artists whose project it is predominantly is all gung-ho to do it. And the other artist has been really busy and hard to reach. And this artist is saying, oh, like, I'm sure it's gonna be fine. He's totally gonna be fine with it. Let's just do it. And I'm like, I just want him to acknowledge that it's happening. So I don't just like put out this awesome project and have the other artist be like, I didn't know about this. Cause then I'd feel like a, an ass. Um, so uh, hopefully soon, I wanted to launch it in the next week or two, but it really depends on when this, this other artist uh, gives the final approval. Super chat from Nicholas. Thanks, man. What were my record store day picks going to be this year? I made a video about it, and honestly, if I have to be completely transparent, I don't even remember. I remember there was the there was the Black Sabbath. Was it Black Sabbath cover album? Um, that was cool. I don't even remember the record store day picks. I remember they were good, not great. Um, can someone remind me of some of the good RSD picks? Because, like, I just... I was going to get a handful, but there was nothing that was, like, a must-have for me. Um... You know and understand everyone's love of Phoebe Bridgers, but her collabs are better than her solo albums. I, you know what? It's hard to say better. She only has one solo album, um, so it's kind of hard to compare. But I love Better Oblivion. I, bl I love Boy Genius, and I love her solo. It's it's all fantastic. What's my favorite song by Lucy Dacus solo? That's a really good question. Um, uh, it's probably... It, I mean, it's this is so... Uh, um historians is a really good song like the last song on on her album is is excellent um i don't know lucy dacus i don't love as much as julian and phoebe do i like oliver tree i've actually never listened to oliver tree am i interested in the pinata 1984 edition i already have a copy of pinata i don't really need the unless people say it's like really different and amazing i don't really think i need it Oh, yeah. Denzel Curry, Bulls on Parade. I was definitely going to get that 7-inch. Pilot Talk. That You're right. Pilot Talk by Currency was probably my most wanted record from the entire list. Um, but it's I think it was first release, if I remember correctly, which means that we'll be able to get it down the road if we miss it on Record Store Day. So I'm not terribly worried. This isn't like an Alchemist drop with Covert Coop where it's going to be like gone in a matter of minutes or seconds. Um, what's quarantine like in NYC? Well, it's uh, sitting in my room a lot listening to records, putting a mask on and going to uh, the grocery store every now and then, working on album, or working on album, bleh, working on videos for the channel. Hello. 
Hello from Peru. What's up, Brandon? Peru, that's awesome. I love when we get like people all around the world in these live streams. It makes me feel like we're all really connected, and especially in a time when we're all very disconnected. So maybe I should be doing more live streams. Uh, it's fun. It's easy. I don't have to edit anything. Uh, what's up, Hunter? Do I own any Cream albums? Yes, I have Disraeli Gears. I have the very best of. I have uh, Wheels. It's called Wheels of Fire. Um, I really like Cream, but... I feel like Tales of Brave Ulysses is their best song and everything else doesn't quite live up to it in my mind. The Record Spinner. Hey man, I'm holding up. You know, just wanted to... I just wanted to do a little live stream and, and connect with the, with, the, with the crew for a bit. Um, you know, it can get kind of lonely in isolation. Um, so, you know... It's nice to it's nice to talk to other music fans about the thing we love, especially on a day that's so important to us, uh, Record Store Day. Have I pre-ordered the new Fiona Apple? I have not yet, um, because I have a hunch it's going to be pretty readily available, um, and I also have a hunch that VMP is going to do an exclusive variant, but we'll see. Um, hope I make it to Dallas, dude. I was going to go to Dallas this year. I I I can't stress to you guys enough. I had plans to visit so many places this year and make videos at record stores and um, and uh, uh, you know I just um, I uh, I can't go now I can't travel sorry I got distracted by the Nicholas's super chat can we see Matt no hat oh my gosh uh, it really looks bad now that the reason I'm wearing a hat is because this hair is unruly I'll give you guys a brief look at the at the mayhem. That is, uh, I might as well be like Pete Wentz from Fallout Boy. I'm like, it's like really like, I'm like, I like need like a, I need to like start a emo band. It's, it's getting, it's getting wild. But uh, yeah, this is why I'm wearing the hat though, because it's it's a little too wild. It's like the song Wolves from from Life of Pablo, except my hat, my hair. Ugh, what is happening, Nicholas? What have you done to me? Okay, um, whoa, someone just dropped a huge super chat. Holy crap! Hunter said, stay safe, man. Buy a record online, stay home, and listen. Thank you. Um, I absolutely will. Um, that's that's super generous of you. Thank you. Uh, do you have a question that you want me to answer? I feel like for uh, 30 Australian <laughs> uh, buckaroos, you should ask a question at least that I can, I can answer. Someone asked what Prince albums I have. I have Purple Rain, Sign of the Times, in 1999. I don't think I have anything else. Hello from Philly. Hello from Greece. There were some cool Brazilian comps scheduled for RSD. I feel like I looked at some of them and they weren't exactly my my cup of tea. What is happening? I, I, I've been distracted with the mirroring. <laughs> um, if you guys haven't uh, subscribed to Too Many Records and you're in this live stream, welcome. But please subscribe to the channel. I've been putting out videos every day, every week for... Uh, five years so if you if you haven't dug into the catalog if you want to ask me if i've done a video on something i probably have so just search for it in my backlog and hopefully you find something that you enjoy my i said in the past that my favorite album was fish by fish was billy breeds uh yes billy breeds is still my favorite i love story of the ghost too um am i still in touch with my previous roommate the crazy fish fan yeah we we are definitely still in touch um yeah, that guy loves fish. You take it my trip to Poland isn't happening. That is unfortunately true. Pearl Jam did uh, postpone their European tour. I was supposed to go to Poland. Not only did they postpone the tour, uh, the flight path to Poland from the airline I was taking is canceled till next year. So I am not seeing Pearl Jam this year, which is a big dagger in my heart. Do I have any Emerson, Lake, and Palmer records? I don't. I'm not a huge fan. Have I been able to order any records from a local record store and have them delivered? No, but I have ordered from some uh, record stores nearby on their Discogs. And um, those are en route to me. Like Academy uh, in Brooklyn has a, has a Discogs. Um, and Limited to One in New York is doing... If you guys don't follow Limited to One... Every day he's putting out like minor grails and major grails on his Instagram and the first come first serve. Uh, really good, uh, really good stuff there. I, it's, it's very tempting to drop some money on some of that stuff. Any cool vaporwave vinyl releases coming up? 
Vaporwave has gotten out of my hands. I, I love Vaporwave, but there are so many releases that come out, I can't even keep up with it. There is a Vaporwave vinyl group. Um, I'm actually an admin of it on Facebook. There's thousands of people in it. Please join it. Uh, people will be posting releases there. Uh, do I have any Vaporwave or Future Funk records? I have a lot. I actually get criticized for talking about Vaporwave too much on this channel. So if you dive into my... Um, a lot of my B-side videos, but if you look up Vaporwave on my channel, I talk about all sorts of stuff. Adam asks, where can we get this hat? Which is funny, because Adam is my merch guy, and he knows exactly where. So Adam, if you want to drop a link to the TMR Big Cartel, where you guys can get this awesome Too Many Records hat with this embossed uh, logo, please feel free. Do I think that Clapton owns Hendrix? Um, no. I think Hendrix is better, but I, I, it's just an opinion. They're both amazing. Did I buy VAR from Spart Spartan Records? I actually did. Uh, someone recommended it to me and said it was like uh, Sigur Rós vocals with post-rock musician musicianship, and I listened to like two of the tracks, and it blew me away. So yeah, I purchased it. Um, that should be coming in soon, I hope. Um, really cool. Um, did I let go of my bootleg acid rock acid? Blah, blah, blah. Acid Rap Vinyl since Chance dropped official versions. I did, even though I think one of the tracks on Acid Rap didn't make it to the official. Um, I forget if that was true or not. Um, but I haven't actually listened to the official. It's down here in my shelf. But uh, I did. I, 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 I traded away the, uh, the bootlegs. Because if you have the official, you don't need the boot. No question. We'll pimp your Insta. Oh, I didn't even realize that was you. Uh, Mark's here, at record underscore ho. Make sure you guys follow him. He's awesome. Any thoughts on the new J Electronica? Honestly, I haven't listened, and I love J Electronica. I know he's, you know, I've been a fan of his features. I've been a fan of his production and his singles over the years. But I haven't listened to the new album because I'm not hearing it's amazing. I'm hearing it's a lot of Jay-Z features, and it's just kind of like a watered-down version of what you'd expect from him. So it hasn't, it hasn't made the rotation yet. Have I ordered Nobody Hear the Story of Vaporwave soundtrack on vinyl? I have not yet. Isn't it like $80 on the Kickstarter? I think it might be a little too much for me to bite right now. You've begun collecting again this past year, Sean. Welcome. Uh, love my top 100. Thank you. Do I worry about audio quality when I'm buying records online and quarantine from all the various versions? Um, audio quality in the sense of pressing quality or in the sense of record grading? You're supposed to see Pearl Jam this past Thursday. Ugh, I'm so sorry, man. Yeah, I know. I know how you feel. I'm, I'm, I'm broken up about it too. Some of my favorite shows from this last year. Hold on, new, new super chat. Gotta go answer it, Sean. Thanks for the channel. Loving it. Keep it up. Also on NYC, may see you at Rockwood one day. If you see me at Rockwood, please say hi. And hopefully you'll see me at Rockwood next year for TMR Fest Two, uh, which is where I'm gonna be having it. So, that's awesome, man. Make sure you say hello if you see me. Some of my favorite shows from the last year. Honestly, it's like I feel like I'm like it's like a blur. I can't remember all of, a lot of the shows I've been to. Electronicon was definitely a huge standout. Is Pearl Jam's new album any good? It is excellent. At first, I thought it was good, um, and I listened to it more, and now I think it's great. I mean, they really can't put out a bad album. They really they're they're without question one of the best bands of all time of all time. I did, Pearl Jam is just they are just poets. When is the next big record unboxing? I don't know. Um I feel like uh I I feel like I haven't had a moment like I used to have where like I'd have like eight records show up and I could do an unboxing video. Um maybe I'll start saving the mailers and uh do an unboxing when I accrue enough to do so. Best sounding bootleg I have. That's a really good question. It's probably um, I don't know the the Frank Ocean nostalgia bootleg, the repress of it that just came out sounds really really good. Um, I think the Yeezus bootleg sounds sounds pretty great too. Uh, I don't know. Uh, there's a Currency Covert Coop bootleg. I already I have the official version, but I grabbed the uh, Covert Coop because uh, it was on green vinyl, which I thought was cool and matches the stoner aesthetic of Currency. And it sounds pretty good. It doesn't sound that much different than the official version, to be honest. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, the Vinyl Nation video documentary. There's been a ton of uh, vinyl docs that just came out. There's the one about other music in New York. There's Vinyl Nation, and there's Record Safari. I'm going to try to watch Record Safari this weekend, um, and probably Vinyl Nation, because I just heard today in my Facebook group that Too Many Records, they show some of my videos in the doc. I had no idea. So that's super exciting. Um, do I have The Big Day by Chance the Rapper on vinyl? I do not, because that is a terrible album. Have I listened to the new West Side Gun, Pray for Paris? I have not yet, but I've heard only good things. Um, I almost don't want to listen to it because I know that the drop is going to be impossible to get a variant for. It's just like lately the dope drops have become so difficult before they sell out, but I'll listen to it soon. Why doesn't my beautiful Dark Twister Fantasy record sound bad? It doesn't sound bad. It just could sound way better. Hi, Violet. Vinyl me, please. Thoughts. Um, uh, it's it's too expensive. 60 bucks when every other variant was like 40-ish. That just seems like gouging for no reason. And I feel like Vinyl Me Please is kind of trending towards that. And it's not, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Um, oh, whoa. Roby says that uh, the whitest... Boy Alive is repressing dreams. Is that true? Can you can you send me on uh, either Facebook or Instagram? I guess I can just Google it. That would be huge. Dreams has been on my on my list of records to acquire for five years plus. Like that that's amazing. Do I prefer Nirvana's Bleach or Incesticide? Uh, uh, insect. Is it in, is it's an, it's an insecticide? No, it's Incesticide, right? Yeah, it's Incesticide. Um, Incesticide, probably. It's a little more refined than Bleach. And um, How do I pull the records out with the headboard there? Good question. I pulled them out from the other side. <laughs> What's up, James? All official Kanye releases sound iffy on vinyl. That is not true. Kids See Ghost sounds great, and 808 sounds great. Do a video about 420 and vinyl related to it on your collection. That's actually would be a pretty fun video. I could probably pull out some some weed, some weed uh, worship records. Best Jay Z album is Reasonable Doubt or The Blueprint. Best Mad Lib album. I mean, can I say Mad Villainy? Does that count? Your favorite album of all time is Igor. <sighs> I mean, I love I love that album, but I don't understand the overwhelming hype. I really feel like only two of those tracks uh, really stand out to me. The rest all kind of sounds the same. Do I have any Cure records? Yeah, I have Pornography. I have... Um, what else do I own? I have The Greatest Hits. Um, I think I have Kiss Me, Kiss Me, Kiss Me as well. Vampire Weekend playing in a band show in Ojai. Best show ever. That is definitely a, uh, a top 10 show just because of the set list. They did um, the entire first album front to back and then a bunch of hits. Amazing. Do I have movie soundtracks and what's my favorite? Uh, my favorite is singles, but I did a video on the channel about my favorite movie soundtracks. You should uh, search for it and check it out. Hey, Lisa. Lisa. Yeah, we're, you know, we're just, we're bummed that Record Store Day is delayed, but it's nice to kind of do a live stream and just kind of chat and talk music, which is rad. Sometimes pressings can be done from subpar master files. Um, um, yeah, I feel like, you know, it's important to, to, I actually have a video that I want to release uh, that's all filmed um, about my least favorite thing that record labels do. And um, I almost feel like, I don't know if that's insensitive to release that in this time because labels are struggling due to the virus. I don't want to like hurt labels, even though I don't really talk about anything in particular. Um, but I, I do have a, a, a video where I talk about how labels are oftentimes pretty um, secretive about where the, where the records are pressed from. Um... You feel like I should be a My Morning Jacket fan. I feel like I should be a My Morning Jacket fan. But ultimately, um, I've never really loved their albums. Um, do I like The The? 
Um, I've always heard about the the, or is it the the? Um, I've never, or is it the the? I've never actually heard one of their songs, but I know their records are pretty hard to find, and they're from the 80s, 90s? Do I think that The Who is overrated? I did think that The Who was overrated until I went to Desert Trip, and I saw them, and they blew my mind. Um, so no, I don't think they're overrated anymore. Kenny Siegel teased that he's pressing our, uh, the Purple Moonlight pages. That's awesome. I didn't bite on the cassette on the hopes that they would press it to vinyl. I haven't listened to it yet, but everything that Rory's ever done, um, whether it's Scallops Hotel or Milo, is like very, very good. Has anyone ever told me I resemble Little Dicky? Yeah, I, I get Little Dicky these days. I get Lin Manuel Miranda um, all the time. Is it Mad Lib producing Black Star's upcoming? Yeah, that's that's supposedly that 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 seems to be what they're talking about. Um, but I don't really have any uh, concrete evidence other than some articles about it. How do I feel about the Black Keys? Um, I like three or four of their songs tops. I think that whenever I'm in the mood for something like the Black Keys, I will listen to the White Stripes. Wait, there's a Mad Lib and Pusha T album? I have not heard about that, but that sounds like it's going to be incredible. Wow, that sounds really good. Do I know when Kids See Ghost 2 is coming out? If I did, I would be a psychic. Um, unfortunately, I don't think there's been any information about Kids See Ghost 2 other than the fact that they want to do it. So I'll keep doing the live stream as long as there's a, a steady stream of questions. We just roughly hit the 30 minute mark. Um, I'll keep it going though if there's more more good stuff you guys want to chat about. Where do I stand on post rock and post metal? Um, I'm more into post rock than post metal, although uh, Elusive Sound does a lot of really good post metal stuff. Um, I love post rock, but for it to kind of sit with me in a way that's memorable, it needs to be different than everything else like i feel like a lot of post-rock kind of sounds the same but there are certain bands like caspian and uh, explosion in the sky of course and um you know some stuff that really ends up pushing the envelope and that for me is great but otherwise a lot of bands just very similar progressions i look like dwayne johnson i've gotten that a lot actually people tell me i look like the rock all the time it's usually because of my biceps and my uh, and my and my uh general demeanor um kids he goes to isn't gonna drop you feel i i kind of feel that way too i feel like that uh in the shift that kanye has made away from secular music i don't think unless it's kids see holy ghosts i don't think that there's gonna be another kids see ghost record when do i think the new run the jewels is gonna come out it was supposed to come out by now it was gonna drop before coachella so i would say in the next month It'll be out. Um, I know LP just tweeted something about sample clearance being really tough. Um, I'm assuming it's related to RTJ4. So we'll see. I can't wait, though. Run the Jewels 4 is going to be a nice surprise. A couple days ago, Kid Cudi confirmed Kid See Ghost 2 is in the works. Where did he confirm that? Please tell me. What was my first vinyl? My first record I ever purchased was The Nationals' Alligator, which is my favorite album and, you know, seemed pretty apt to do so <laughs> do i like mercury rev i know of mercury rev i've seen them when i crate dig i've never sat and listened to them i feel like they're an 80s band right i feel like there's a huge hole in my like 80s beyond like the stuff i know Top three places to go watch a concert. Uh, Red Rocks in Colorado. The Troubadour in LA. And for the third, um, the Fonda. I love the Fonda in Los Angeles as well. I think we should all leave a like and a comment on Matt's videos. It's not hard. only takes a second. James is right. Um, 
for those who are watching this live stream, when I put out a video, if you leave a comment, especially in the first like couple hours of the video being out, it really helps the channel get recommended. Um, so it, you can leave pretty much anything you want, but uh, in the future, if you watch one of my videos and you leave a comment, it really does help. So thank you uh, in advance for that support. Original presses are remastered in my listening experience. Any stand out for a solid remaster. The remasters of Dark Side of the Moon and Animals uh, that came out a couple years ago are some of the best remasters I've ever heard. They sound arguably better than the original presses I have that are clean. So um, that's like that's like the textbook. Hey, Joshua's here. What's up, man? Oh, Mercury Red was 1992. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm a late 90s. I'm pretty good. Early 90s. I'm a little soft still. You had tickets to go see Tyler at Red Rocks. Oh man, that would have been sensational, especially because Igor is your favorite album. You're probably a few weeks away from running out of Calyx space. Oh no, that is a record collector's nightmare. Um, so at that point you have to think about building up, uh, putting more Calyx on top of Calyx. You might have to start bolting to the wall. Uh, that's when you start to be a crazy person like me. Um, I, I know I talk about this in my room tour video, but would you guys want me to do a video just kind of showing off my record shelves and uh, the way that I organize them? Would that be something you guys would be interested in, knowing what types of records go where? Because I'll do that. That sounds fun. What do I feel about Merch Bar? Um, I feel like Merch Bar has been hit or miss for me when I've been purchasing records. Um, sometimes it's a good experience, sometimes it's very frustrating. You live in Colorado, you have never gone to Red Rocks. I never went until last year. It was life-changing. I saw Vampire Weekend. It was like the best show. It was they played forever and the venue was just breathtaking like you'd have all these giant red rocks on both sides of you the acoustics were amazing you had a view of the city line there was not a bad spot in the entire arena um yeah red rocks was like i, I would like to go to red rocks at least once a year moving forward because it was like such a special venue i feel like uh, not a lot of bands i love play red rocks though song is so good this song is richard houghton uh patio soul crest he's just a legend what do i miss most about la um <laughs> i think you guys know amoeba um i really hope that they do okay it's it was this 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 happened at the worst possible time for amoeba in particular because they are in the process of transitioning out of their location and into the new location. And the fact that they can't sell records right now outside of online, I really hope that they make it through this because they, you know, I can't imagine a life where I can't go visit Amoeba. How into FKA Twigs am I? Not very into her. I've listened to some of it and it's just not really my cup of tea. What's my policy on buying... Um, um, what, sorry, I just lost it. It just went away. Where'd that comment go? What's my policy on buying or having multiple copies of the same album? Um, I think that if they're different variants and I mean, like if it's an album that's important to you, go for it. I have a couple albums I love that I have all the variants of. Um, but I don't know, unless there's something strikingly different, I usually try to stick to just one, whatever my favorite variant is. When's the last time I was completely clean shaven? Uh, Halloween. I was Harry Potter. And I was completely clean shaven and it was weird. I looked at myself and I was like, who are you? Hearing so much about Vaporwave, new to it. What album would I recommend as first purchase? Well, go back and watch the Vaporwave videos on the channel. If you search Vaporwave, you'll find all of them. But I would say 2814's Birth of a New Day, if you can find it. It's kind of hard to find now. Uh, Macintosh Plus Floral Shop. Um, anything by St. Pepsi. Uh, or anything by Cat Corp are definitely a uh, good starting points. Favorite Piper at the Gates of Dawn song? Oof, that is a good question. Um, 
let me look at the track list of this. I mean, there's the UK and the US track list. I think my favorite would have to be between the two. Um, I mean, Inter Interstellar Overdrive is incredible, but uh, Bike is great too. The whole album is just so damn good. I would say Interstellar Overdrive is probably my favorite. Someone just asked, um, uh, you bought shitty inner sleeves and now it got a couple of scuffs. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, I use MoFi inner sleeves, Mobile Fidelity Sound Labs inners. Those are great. Oh, let me ask you guys a question uh, now that I have a captive audience. Um, in addition to making videos, of course, about new stuff, I was thinking about going back to older videos from a couple years ago that did, didn't do that well, but I think are really good and recutting them to make them a little a little shorter or a little better um, and then reposting them as kind of like throwback Thursdays. Do you guys think that's a cool idea? Do you not? Um, I know there's so many things that I've done in the past. I have 400 plus videos um, that I think could get a second life if I kind of cut them up a little more and maybe give it uh, a chance for people to see them. Let me know what you think. What state do I live in now? New York City. That's the, that's the city, but New York. Do I have records in Spanish? Not many. I think I have more in, in Portuguese because of, of my Brazilian collection. Did I watch the King Gizzard movie? I did not. Uh, is that the one that's their latest uh, from the Chunky Shrapnel? I didn't like that track list. They really didn't put a lot of my favorite songs on there. I, I didn't even buy it. I almost had this feeling today that King Gizzard is kind of like lost their luster. Like they put out so many great albums in a row. Like from from their first album through like uh, Gumboot Soup. It was like amazing. And ever since then I feel like it's been kind of a hit or miss. Hey Scott's here. What's up man? What would I get? Have I heard the new Fiona Apple? Yeah, I talked about it earlier. It's very, very, very good. Uh, it's a little thematically heavy to be on regular rotation, I think. When prepping for TMR Fest 2, was it harder or easier to choose what to let go of? Um, it's harder because my collection is a little more chiseled than last time. Um, I have so many records that I have set aside. I have like three, 400 records set aside that were for TMR Fest 2 um, that now I have to just sit on and hold and wait until TMR Fest 2. <laughs> <laughs> Re re reissue Thursdays. That's funny. I like that. Do I know any Portuguese bands? Uh, do you mean like from Portugal? Probably not. Um, I know a lot of Brazilian artists. I talk about Brazilian music a lot on this channel. Um, top down tempo artists. Tycho, Thievery Corporation, Zero Seven, uh, Arms and Sleepers, Yippa, there's so many. I need to do a. I need to do an updated video on top down tempo, um, for sure. Favorite concert film? That's a good question. Uh, I don't know offhand. I don't watch a lot of concert films, to be honest. Favorite Ozzy Osbourne song? Oof! It. My favorite Ozzy song is. I just dropped something. Hold on. My favorite Ozzy song is "No More Tears." Um, I'm, I'm planning on doing a video reviewing not just the Aussie box set, but the entire discography and giving it a, uh, best to worst. Um, but I'm waiting on two replacements from the box set to come in before I make the video. So, um, hopefully in the next month or two. What would I put in a Brazilian Bolsa Nova starter pack? I also have a video about that. Check it out. It's, uh, I do it with Sandy. Um, I think it's called Top Brazilian Artists. So, um, I mean, I forget exactly what's on there. It's definitely Joao Gilberto's uh, self-titled white cover. Um, Acabu Chore by Os Novos Baianos. Uh, probably Os Mutantes' second record. Um, maybe a George Ben. I don't remember. I forget what I put in there. I have not listened to the New Strokes yet. I will. Everyone keeps telling me to do it. I just got to buckle up and do it. Have I thought about doing a virtual TMR Fest? I thought about it, but honestly, the, the the thing that makes it so special is like seeing people in real life, connecting, listening to live music, 
the actual crate digging that's available there and i feel like doing it online would just be a it would just be a, sh a shadow of what it could be best live rap album is my kanye west late orchestration without a doubt he is rapping so hard he has so much to prove and he and he kills it Favorite city pop record. I like city pop, but I don't think I have a favorite record. I Love It is Kanye's best song. Well, now I know you're trolling, so... <laughs> That's just not true. Have I heard about the Vaporwave campaign? I have. Uh, people keep linking me to it. It looks cool. I'll definitely watch the movie when it's done. Um, I like a lot of the people involved. All right, let's see. What are we at? We're at 45 minutes. All right, let's give it maybe like five more minutes and then uh, and then we'll call it. And then uh, I'll do another one of these maybe in a week or two. Do I tune into any other YouTube record collectors that I can recommend? Um, I mean, there's a lot of great people in the in, I, in like the VC. Honestly, I don't have a lot of time to watch other people's videos because I'm constantly working on my own. I mean, I love what Vinyl Rewind's been doing with all of the the video essays. Um, that's probably the one that I, I, I have time to view the most. Um, but yeah, I truly don't have a lot of time to sit and watch everyone. There's so many people popping up now. Rank these albums from worst to best. Blonde on Blonde, Highway 61, Freewheel, and Blood on the Tracks. Oof. Okay. Uh, Blood on the Tracks. This, these are four of my favorites, by the way. Blood on the Tracks, Highway 61, Freewheel, and Blonde on Blonde. That's like my gut reaction. I actually have a whole bunch of Bob Dylan records too far for me to reach. I'm planning on doing a Bob Dylan top five video soon, and I think all of those are in it, I think. If you hated Yeezus, how likely are you to dislike the rest of Kanye's work? Um, it's highly unlikely because Yeezus is the outlier. Nothing else in his discography sounds like Yeezus at all. Favorite song by Gambino. Um, I love Sweatpants so much. It is some of the funniest and best lyricism in any hip-hop song ever. Um, but there's so many good Gambino songs. Like... Because the internet, every song is just a 10 out of 10. Um, I don't know. Favorite? I mean, Redbone is also freaking amazing. Uh, hey, Nick. Thank you, man. Uh, enjoying the awesome records I sent you, especially the Vic Spencer. Yeah, man. And did you see how sick that variant is? I think, what was it? A tri tricolor? Um, yeah, that's a, Vic is a... Vic is a very talented artist. I have an entire cube, which I'll show you guys in the... Um, in the in the video where I show organization, um, all like modern kind of underground hip hop stuff, like the Griselda people and and uh, all like the uh, rap uh, rap the rap winkle and all those people. I have so many that it's like overwhelming. Crime Apple, all this stuff. So, yeah. Regarding the Yeezus import or the bootleg, is there's uh, one with the cover image only and one with the title written on there. The difference is that the one with the title written on there probably sounds a little better. They both sound fine, though. All right, guys. A couple more questions and then we're going to call it for the day. I am going to actually... I, I plan today on really like diving in and working on a lot of videos I've been thinking about making. I want to kind of do my research and come up with some more um, cool stuff. Um, do I have the Run the run With the Jewels Flexi Disc set? I do have that. I also have no idea where it is. I had it before the move. <laughs> I don't know where I put it. Um, maybe I put it in my Run the Jewels box set. I don't know. Um, I have it somewhere, but yes. You thought I said Blonde on Blonde is definitely top three. It's number one. You said do it worst to best. 
Blondo, you said worst to best. Will I be doing any more videos on albums that sound better on vinyl? Yes, I will. That video was fun to do. People have been requesting another version of it, so I will have to hunker down and do some more research about which ones are worth talking about. Yeah, the transport van stole it from me. No, it's going to be somewhere. I probably just, in the haste of my move, threw it in like a, a sleeve of something else. Um, I'll find it. I hope. Yeah, I have no idea where I put that. I'm just going to find it in like 10 years and be like, oh, that's where the flexi discs went. <laughs> All right, guys, um, let's let's call it. This has been great. Thank you guys for coming in and, and humoring me and chatting about vinyl. Happy Record Store Day. As I said in my video on Wednesday, please make sure that you can support your local record stores as much as you can. Um, depending on your financial situation. I don't think we all understand the gravity of COVID-19 and what's happening. And I really believe that there's going to be a lot of stores we love that have to close down after this. And it's going to be devastating to the community. So whatever you can do to help support your local store, now is the time to be doing that instead of Amazon. Um, and Record Store Day is the best day to, to share that message. So thank you guys. Um, we'll definitely chat soon. Have a great rest of your weekend. And um, it's been a good record for me today.